Hello, my name is Daryl Eggelmund. I'm the marketing manager for Byte Brothers, headquartered in Seattle, Washington. We've been manufacturing test equipment for 25 years. If you make your living installing IP cameras, VOIP phones, or let's say access points like you might find in the attic of Dunkin' Donuts, you're going to find this device incredibly helpful. You know how long it takes to install an IP camera. And then when you plug it in and it doesn't work, how frustrating. You have to go find the IT manager, have to take his word as to whether the port is turned on or not. Wouldn't it be nice to have a device that you could actually plug into the port and see for yourself? Is there data here available for my camera or my phone or my access point? And how about PoE? Is power over Ethernet available on this port? If it is, is it 48 volts? And when I plug in my device, how many watts is it drawing? Wouldn't that be great to be able to tell your customer, hey, I just installed that phone and after it boots up, it draws six watts. So he's going to write that down. He's going to keep track of that power. So he knows how much power in aggregate is being drawn from his devices. Because the number one reason why these networks get wobbly is because you're drawing too much power. I'll give you a quick little demo. You take the power panel, plug in the patch cable. I'm going to plug into a port here in this switch. And right off the bat it says, I see network and I see power over Ethernet. And on the screen, I'm on the network screen, I can see that on pairs 1, 2, and 3, 6, I see a 10-100 device, half and full duplex. So it's trying to talk to somebody on pairs 1, 2. Nobody talks to it, so it ping-pongs to 3, 6, and it keeps going back and forth, looking for something to talk to like the camera, like the phone, like the access point. So I know I have a data path for my device. Now let me switch over to my PoE screen. My PoE screen says that on the same two pairs, 1, 2, and 3, 6, it sees something putting out a very low voltage and there's currently no power being drawn. That low voltage is called a discovery voltage. The switch is looking for the proper load before it's going to give the full 48 volts to the device. Now I can simulate being a camera or a phone or an access point by pressing this button, Test PoE. And as soon as I do that, notice my port went up to 47 volts. Still drawing no watts because I don't have the device connected to the follow through port. When I connect my camera or phone or access point to that port, it's going to start booting up just like your computer at home and I'll be able to see how much power in watts it's drawing. So if you're involved in a situation where you need to be able to know for yourself for certain whether a port has the data path and has the PoE necessary to drive the device you just installed, you are going to love the power panel. In the video when we're measuring the PoE that's coming out of the switch, you notice that the power was on pairs 1, 2, and 3, 6. In fact, the PoE standard defines that power from a switch must come out on 1, 2, 3, 6, and that is termed PoE end span. But how about if power is coming out of an injector, which is a very popular way of applying PoE power? Well, the standard says for injectors that the power must come out on 4, 5, 7, and 8. And if that's the case, the power panel will display 4, 5, 7, and 8 as the pairs, and the icons on the screen will actually say PoE mid-span. For more information, please contact your T-Equipment product specialist.